What up? Welcome back. I am Chris Telesbo. We are still playing Disc Golf Valley, and we are onto the Harrowing Woods. Uh, this course is pretty scorable, but there are also some places you can get into trouble. So we'll go through it like normal once, how I play it normally kind of aggressively, and then a safer play for the 9 birdie score for a 3 star. Um, this hole with the left to right wind, I like to throw the recoil. Got a little bit aggressive with this. Missing early left is kind of the only big trouble miss. If you go straight, you can go behind that tree and it's open. Or if you play it wide and finish softer, you can finish at the basket. So happy with that reaction. That could have ended up over by that rock in the trees there. But recoil is a good play into that crosswind. Uh, this guy, same story. with If the wind is left to right, I try to go in this front gap in between these two rocks like that. If I have a right to left, um, sometimes I'll try to hang it out right and come in the second gap on the right because it can push too far to the left and get down the hill. But anything in either of those gaps is fine. Even a straight musket up the hill can work if you run a glide musket or have a good wind for it. Um, this whole hyzer musket uh, to help cut through that crosswind again. If I have a helping wind, I'll probably go a river and let it help push it. But the musket just does a better job of pushing left into that crosswind than a river will. So I'll trust that into that every time. All birdie holes so far, doing well. Uh, this is like the only honest ace run I have on this course that I will run all the time. Um, I was a little bit worried about this crosswind picking it up. Sometimes crosswinds act like a little bit of a lift, so I just do this way too low. Um, but that's fine. You know, I sort of gave it a chance and I have a circle one putt, so that's kind of the best case scenario for these ace runs in competitive play for me. I'm sure there are people who hit that all the time. This guy has probably been the most trouble to keep up with as the game has changed. Um, but to help control distance now, I go way higher and play this kind of stall flex shot. Um, depending on the wind, sidearm can make it, but you have to go lower because it doesn't have as much power. And it's really easy to let that run away to the left if you have a right to left wind. So be careful the first couple times you try it, but once you dial in that distance, that's definitely my most consistent play for two. Uh, this guy, another eagle hole, I play the hyzer flip up again. This turns a little bit too much, but the tree doesn't kill it. And then I get a really fortunate skip right there. Um, but if you can dodge that tree, you can get this close or even closer with that ballista. But if you want to throw skip shots or rollers or air shots, they can all get back through here. And that's a very good eagle to start getting used to picking up. Ooh, there's a stupid tree hole. Um, there are a couple spots on this green that are more open to putt from. Um, there's the little gap that I'm almost in on the left side there, and then there's a big gap on the right side of the tree. I don't really like trying to land in that zone because you can still miss by a couple feet and get treed. So I try to just slide up to the base of the tree and get that tap in just to get a worry over. Uh, this whole most important thing about this tee shot is getting the height right. If you hit that gap, you can clip that hill and get over here. That rock is kind of my target. Anywhere from there, I know I have a putter in. Um, so 60 meters with a tailwind, pure can go plenty far, I just did not give that enough hyzer, so it's going to miss right. But there's that landing zone that's kind of straight, so as long as you have a line, you can see it there, from short of the basket to where this shot was from, you can miss 10 meters short or long and still be safe. So huge, huge value in landing in that good landing zone initially. I, st I still think this hole takes a little bit of luck. I play the flex over the trees. Um, and there's like a little tunnel there. It looked good for a second, didn't make it. That's okay, that happens sometimes. I don't know of a for sure play. Rollers might be able to resolve this a little bit, but um, this is a little trick I use when I'm in the trees. If you look the aim around, you can see where the trees are at. So I'm looking at the ground right now and I don't see any big gaps. So I'm gonna go up over in the gap I find. And it looks like that was almost clean. That could have been real good if it was, but it wasn't, and that's okay. Like I said, this whole sometimes bites you, but as long as you're making progress, you should be able to save the four all the time. Um, I couldn't tell if this was gonna hit the tree or not, so I just tried to throw it in, and if it hit the tree, it would've come up a little bit short because the trees take some power off. Um, but it got out clean and went in, and that's super lucky. Uh, I would've guessed it was hit, gonna hit the tree, but it didn't, so good eagle, picked up the three I want. Um, you can throw in on hole four, you can throw in on hole eight, but those are pretty much the scores I try to put up when I play that course every time. So now I'll play a little bit safer run. Um, like I said, recoil, we're gonna go straight this time instead of over that rock because there's a little bit less trouble back here. As long as it pushes forward, you get this open putt. So I think that's probably a, a, a more consistent play, but that early break can get you shorter putts. So 
depending on what you're feeling, you can go either side of that tree. Uh, another herding wind, so we'll go recoil again. Little baby hyzer to help cut back through the wind. Try the second gap. Got a good bounce. You can, hitting into that upslope, do the weird like check skip and have it bounce and roll back down the hill. So that right side is a little bit riskier to me than that front gap. Um, but if you do catch the top like that and get a good skip, you're okay. Another herding wind here, another musket shot, plenty of hyzer, plenty of height. The only thing you can't do is hit that tree on the left. Anything else back here with even remotely the right disc will leave you a putt. So this is a must birdie every time. And again, I throw musket into the wind and uh, river if I have a right to left wind. Okay, safe run on this. If I have a straight one tailwind or more, the fuse can make it. Um, this was a bad line, but it might have front caged. It was kind of close. But the, the accurate windbreak mid on this hole is exactly the distance to land flat on that hill. So just trust the angle you put it on, and it should be tap in almost every time. If you're not drawing middle, because you totally can. Um, I actually played this over this way for a long time through the updates because they were changing how the LG Ballista flies so much. So I'd pitch River or Explorer or Musket over this way as long as you miss that rock. You can make that second pond if you throw a Musket. So be a little careful about the tempo. But that 39, that can be 40, that can be 30, and that can be thrown in. Or it can be pitched over for this easy birdie. Um, so if you're having trouble getting to the green in one, that's, that's a pretty easy play to get the birdie. And this hole, I've actually, I realized I've never actually laid up to the opening. So this was kind of a guess shot. It worked out pretty well. The goal is, of course, to stay right and then get forward so that we can see the basket through this tunnel. And that worked really well. Um, accurate windbreak musket, so it should be pretty consistent. And then I'm going to just pitch up to the tap and stump um, because, you know, playing for safe birdie, there's no sense leaving yourself harder putts than you need. But pretty happy with how that went. Again here, I don't, I don't like trying to play to the right side um, because weird stuff can happen. Even shots like this can hit the hill and not skip. That could have come backwards. Um, so very happy to get that up to the tap in. If you throw big skip discs, it'll always get up the hill. But if you throw in like a big skip ballista or recoil, you can get long and it can do weird stuff. So I still try to play to the stump. Um, same thing here, got my height. That's pretty much the only thing I care about on this tee shot because if I miss this hill, it's great. If I clip that hill, it's okay. Right next to my target rock again, that's a good shot. But now the safe run, I could probably, I thought about backhand fusing this, but that's not as safe. So I pitched the putter and again, I have that front to back room. So I can miss a little bit long and slide and still be okay and have that circle putt to collect the birdie. But very important that you know what line you're throwing into the screen because if you're coming in across the green, it's much narrower than if you're coming in straight down it. All right, and a safe play here. A four on this hole is not that bad. A uh, ton of people get eagles. With rollers, I've seen a two throw in. Um, but a four is okay. And if you're playing for a three and you get stuck in the trees like I almost did, you, a four can come up anyway. Um, so I pitch a recoil around this first corner. I like the left fairway because then there's a pitch up to the end of this tunnel where the fairways rejoin. And I could have gone river here and then fuse in. I went fuse first to make sure I stay left because if I finish right, the trees are in the way again. And by staying left, I leave this tunnel still open. Flex the musket to make sure I clear the trees on the right. Um, again, you gotta kinda just manage your misses. So if the bad miss is short right, I'm gonna miss long because it's open back here and I can have room to clear this putt out. Um, yeah, definitely a scorable course. There are a few tricky ones though that can come out and bite you if you're not ready for it or if you get too aggressive when you're not comfortable with it. But those three eagles are happy to get um, like I said, 4 and 8 can be thrown in, but 12 is what I'd shoot for every time. Uh, if you're enjoying these videos, please subscribe or like the videos. Check out more of them, and until the next one, cheers!